Hi, here you can see is some of the most explosive metal in this world and today we are going to figure out how dangerous this really is. The metal we are talking about is called cesium, which belongs to the alkali metals that are all quite explosive. Now before we start I have to say that this video would not have been possible without the channel Advanced Tinkering. Cesium metal is actually quite hard to get, but he managed to make it himself. So if you want to see how he did this, I would definitely recommend checking out his channel and subscribing to him. I personally really enjoy watching his videos and learned a lot from him. You can find the link in the description. To get started with our investigation of the cesium metal, we originally planned to mix a whole bunch of different substances with it. However, mixing these substances well and not getting hurt at the same time turned out to be a lot more difficult and time consuming than expected. That is why in this video we are going to focus on the reaction of cesium metal with liquid oxygen and water and compare the two. Especially liquid oxygen and cesium has never been done before on YouTube and it turns out to be really interesting. Advanced Tinkering has prepared 10 cesium ampules at once in one of his videos as a preparation for this video. But since these ampules contain at least 2 grams of cesium each and we didn't want to start with such a large amount for safety reasons, he also distilled over 50 grams of cesium metal into a Schlenk flask so we can take out much smaller amounts from there. In order for us not having to bother with an argon cylinder, I also prepared some water and oxygen free kerosene that we added to the Schlenk flask. After melting the cesium metal with the power of hand heating, we could conveniently take out small amounts of cesium metal using a syringe. This worked surprisingly well and this way we were able to handle the cesium metal with only negligible oxidation. Now the first thing that we both desperately wanted to know was how the cesium metal reacts with liquid oxygen. To do this we started small and first poured some liquid oxygen into a beaker where you can first observe the beautiful pale color of this super dangerous liquid. Because this liquid has a temperature of negative 183 degrees Celsius it was really interesting for us to see whether the cesium is reactive enough to interact with the oxygen at this extremely low temperature. Hast du noch was drin? <lacht> As it turns out, the answer to that question is a most definitive yes. We were both shocked by how violent this reaction actually was. We tried this multiple times and the reaction was always really violent, but sometimes the cesium spontaneously caught fire before it reached the liquid, so it burned up before it could really explode. Now it was time to scale this up and use an entire ampule at once, which is at least 100 times the amount of cesium metal that you could see exploding in the previous scenes. So you can probably imagine that this is quite dangerous. For this, Advanced Tinkering has made a special contraption that is able to break the ampules from a distance that they can fall immediately in the liquid oxygen after opening. All we need to do to activate this is to pull on a string and watch the mayhem. As expected, the reaction was a lot more violent, the beaker is now in beaker heaven and the liquid oxygen made the grass burn really violently. The ampule breaker also caught fire, but luckily it survived. 
In order to compare this reaction to a well-known reaction, we also broke another ampule over some water. Here you can also see very nicely how the cesium starts burning in the air before it even hits the water. This was a bit less violent, but it also showed a design flaw in our setup. Because the ampules were so long and thin, it was hard for the cesium to properly get out and mix with whatever we wanted it to mix. Because we still had so much cesium in our Schlenk flask, we decided to change the plan and put out some cesium metal into a small glass vial containing some kerosene. The much larger opening should enable us to pour the cesium metal faster. While filling the cesium metal into the vial via a syringe with cannula, you can hear some professionals in the background working with needles. We then set up an improvised contraption with which we could pour the cesium metal in the liquid oxygen from a distance. It worked surprisingly well. In slow-mo you can see that all of the cesium went into the liquid oxygen very nicely. The reaction was a lot more violent than we expected and shards from the beaker were flying all around us. But we were wearing proper safety gear, so it was all perfectly fine. Here you can see all that was left of the beaker after the reaction. I am however not quite sure if or how much the kerosene over the cesium had something to do with the extreme violence of the explosion, so this would be something for future experiments. To put the same experiment into perspective, we repeated the reaction of cesium metal with water using the exact same setup. The reaction was still violent, however compared to the liquid oxygen it was quite tame. So in conclusion you can say that cesium is a lot more dangerous than I personally expected. I thought, because cesium atoms are so large compared to other alkali metal atoms, when the energy released per atom of cesium when it oxidizes is similar to other alkali metals, that there won't be any super violent explosion. But as you have just seen, I was badly mistaken, and just because the reaction with water is not as violent as other alkali metals, it doesn't mean other reagents can't be a lot more dangerous. If you want to see more reactions with the cesium metal, put your suggestions in the comments and we will try to make it work. Also, we already filmed a few more spectacular reactions with cesium that will be released in the near future. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell that you don't miss these. And make sure to also go to the channel Advanced Tinkering to see how all of that cesium metal was made and watch his video of these experiments. Thanks a lot for watching.